So before you do any cut, one of the most important things on this screen is to make sure that you have the right setup. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is come up here to your project settings. Button looks like two gears underneath cam actions. Um, you see on the right hand side of the screen your parameters pop up. If I zoom out here, you can see I have programmed in here, I have a uh, four by four sheet. Um, if I want to change this to say I have a uh, five by ten sheet, width uh, is going to be the actual the length of your sheet. So I'll put in 120 for that. Height, I'm going to put in 60. Um, you'll select down here material type. You could do mild steel, stainless, or aluminum. Uh, I'm working on eighth inch right now. Uh, but if I wanted to change that to quarter, you'll just click this drop down, uh, click on quarter. You can see on the top of my screen it says that the material thickness is outside the parameters. I have a 45 amp nozzle in there, so this will kind of alarm out and give you a warning and say, hey, your, uh, your setups aren't correct. So it's a, good, it's a good check for you to make sure everything is set up correctly. You can see when I click on the eighth inch again, it says that the um, parameters were successful. So you'll click on the green check mark to apply that. And you'll see since I changed it to a 5 by 10 sheet, my sheet size changes on the um, drawing screen. After you have your um, project settings selected, we're going to do plasma settings. So the next one right here underneath cam actions, plasma settings, you can see on the right hand side of the screen. After I select my nozzle and or the um, material, and the material thickness. Uh, once I select my nozzle, it's going to automatically apply my, f my settings. Uh, this is all based off of the hypertherm cut charts, and it's specific to the PowerMax unit that you're using. I have a PowerMax 85 in there. So once I select, uh, I'm cutting that eighth inch on a low speed fine cut, it's going to give me a couple options for quality level. You have best quality and fastest cutting. I always like to be on best quality. So I'll select best quality. It's going to put in my feed rate, curve width, pierce height, cut height, um, everything I need to make a good cut. Um, so then after I choose the correct nozzle, I'm going to click the check mark or the enter button to apply it. And I'm ready to move on to CNC to cut the part. 